Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm thrilled to share an exciting new feature from Adobe that's set to revolutionize your editing workflow. Introducing Generative Extend, now available in Premiere Pro. This innovative tool powered by Adobe Firefly lets you seamlessly add extra frames to your video or audio clips. If you need to perfect some timing of an edit, hold on to an emotional moment just a bit longer or to cover a tricky transition or add some room tone to your soundtrack, Generative Extend has got you covered. Before we dive into how it works, a quick heads up, you'll need an internet connection to use Generative Extend since it utilizes a cloud-based AI model. So how does it work? Firstly, you need to identify the clip in your sequence that you'd like to extend. Then select the Generative Extend tool from the toolbar. Simply click and drag the edge of your clip to the desired length. For videos, you can extend up to 2 seconds and for audio up to 10 seconds. Generative Extend will create additional frames and insert them into your sequence. The AI generated segments are clearly labeled so you know exactly where the magic happened. And if you're not satisfied with the result, no worries. Right click on the AI generated label and select Regenerate to get a new variation. Now, since Generative Extend is currently in beta, there are some limitations to keep in mind. For video, it supports only resolutions of 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720. It has to be in 16 by 9 aspect ratio and the frame rates are between 12 and 30 frames per second. You've got to be using 8-bit standard. For audio, you cannot create or extend spoken dialogue, existing dialogue will be muted during extension. Clips containing music aren't eligible for extension due to complexity and copyright uh, reasons. And you've got to be working in mono or stereo. Also, Generative Extend doesn't currently work in team projects, but Adobe is working on enhancing this for seamless collaboration. Now, if you're wondering where all the generated media is stored, by default, it's stored in a generated media folder within your projects directory. If you prefer a different direction, if you prefer a different location, you can go to preferences and then scratch disks and set your desired path. Your privacy is important to Adobe. This is important. Rest assured, any media you process with generative extent is not used to train Adobe's AI models. It's solely used to create your, uh, your requested extension, keeping your content private and secure. Adobe is continuously working to enhance Generative Extend. Future updates aim to support higher resolutions, different frame rates, HDR content, and additional aspect ratios, including vertical video for the social media platforms. Now your feedback, feedback matters, so after using Generative Extend, right click on the AI label and select Good Output or Poor Output. You can provide specific feedback on what worked or what needs improvement. This helps Adobe fine tune the, the feature for everyone. So what do you think? Will Generative Extend change the way you edit your videos? Let me know your thoughts. Now if you find this information useful, Please help give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest tips and tricks. Thanks for tuning in. Happy editing.